this? Trans advocates say this is a human rights issue. Do you see it as a human rights issue? Uh, I do, but probably uh, on the other side mm -hmm. of, uh, we saw in committee uh, and here, here in the Montana House the regret of a lot of people that uh, the adults weren't around to protect them when they went through uh, like, like a, uh, a transition surgery as a minor and now they see that regret. So is that a human right? You bet. We're talking about irreversible procedures. And I want to ask you about some comments made by Representative Howell here on the House floor saying that this bans certain care for trans minors, but if a young girl wants a breast reduction to participate in gymnastics or even breast implants to be in the beauty pageant circuit, that they would be able to access that care and, and in fact do access that care in this state. So I'm wondering if this is about protecting kids who are too young from having those procedures, why not all kids? Why just focus on the gender dysphoria? Sure, and I, uh, I mean, I'm more than happy to look at, uh, at more legislation as we move forward of what, uh, where, what and how do we need to protect the, that next generation that is coming up. But uh, as for now, I think that was a, um, a comment to try and divert, um, which totally get, but right now we've got uh, this prolific uh, explosion of, of gender dysphoria that is causing irreversible harm to the next generation, and that's what that bill was trying to address.